Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: Mr. Gupta opened a recurring deposit account in a bank. He deposited rupees two thousand five hundred per month for two years. At the time of maturity, he got rupees sixty-seven thousand five hundred. Find the total interest earned by Mr. Gupta and the rate of interest per annum. So this is our question to solve. So guys, for solving this question, we can use either two methods. So both the method I will show. So first method is first we will find out the rate of interest. Then we will find out the interest. So first number second question we have will solve. So principal is equal to rupees given two thousand five hundred per month. Time is equal to given two years. So as we are writing the principal per month, so time also will convert into months. So two years means two into twelve, that is twenty-four months. Rate of interest is we take it as R because it is unknown, and interest is equal to we write principal into n n plus one by two into twelve into R by hundred. So this is our formula. So now I put down the values here. Principal is two thousand five hundred multiplied by n. So n is our time. So time is twenty four into n plus one multiplied by n plus one. So n is twenty four plus one that will be twenty five by two into twelve into red by hundred. So zero zero we cut. Now I cut. Two and here twelve, the so twelve and twelve cut. So twenty five into twenty five into R remains. So twenty five into twenty five six hundred twenty five R. So this is will be our interest. Now rate of interest. Sorry, sorry. Now maturity value. It is given in the question maturity value. So maturity value in the form lies principal into time plus interest. So now if we put down all the values, we will get the value of R. So maturity value is equal to six thousand seven hundred five hundred is equal to principal that will be two five double zero multiplied by twenty four plus. Interest that is six hundred twenty-five R. So six seven five double zero is equal to so twenty five hundred into twenty-four. So zero and zero I put twenty-four into hundred. So twenty-four five into four that will be hundred. So ten goes for carry. So twenty-five into two fifty. So fifty plus ten that will be sixty. Plus six hundred twenty-five R. So now we we'll rearrange the equation like this: six hundred twenty-five R is equal to six seven five double zero minus sixty thousand. Just we we'll rearrange the equation. So six hundred twenty-five R will be equal to seven thousand five hundred. R will be equal to seven thousand five hundred by six hundred twenty-five. So we cut by twenty-five only. So twenty five, twenty five is six hundred twenty five, and three hundred is seven five double zero. So now twenty five and three hundred we can cut directly. It will become so twenty five one is twenty five, remainder five fifty. So two is fifty. Rate of interest is twelve percent per annum. So from here we got up a number two answer. So now have to find the number one answer that is total interest earned by Mr. Gupta. So total interest we will find out. Again, interest is equal to principal into n n plus one by two into twelve into r by hundred. So this process is a lengthy work process. So after finding the interest, we will go for another process that will be a simpler one. So principal. Because two five double zero multiplied by twenty four into twenty five by two into twelve 
into uh, 12 500 100 100 is cut 12 12 cut in 12 so remains 25 into 25 into 12 so 25 and 25 means 625 into 12 is equal to 12 5 is a 60 6 carry 12 2 is a 24 24 plus 6 30 so 3 carry 24 uh, sorry to 12 into 6 72 so 72 plus 75 so 75 double zero so this is our interest so now you have got our number one answer also so this process is a little lengthy process so now you will go for the next process so for our next process first we will write all the information that have been given in the question so principal is equal to rupees to 12,500 per month time is equal to 24 months rate of interest is unknown and maturity value is given 67,500 so now you will use a formula that is interest is equal to maturity value minus principal into time. So maturity value is 67,500 6, minus principal into time. So 2500 into 24 minus 60,000. So 2500 into 24 means 60,000. So 7500. So in this manner, you get the interest very easily. So interest is 7500. So number one answer we got. Now number two is we need to find out the rate of interest. So interest is equals to principal into n n plus 1 by 2 into 12 into r by 100 so in the same formula we will use so interest is equals to 7500 is equals to principal that is 2500 multiplied by 24 into 25 by 2 into 12 into r by 100 We cut it uh, 224 12 and 12 and 12 cut so 7500 is equal to 25 into 25 into r so 625 r is equal to 7500 so you have just rotated the numbers so 25 and 25 become 625 multiplied by 625 r is equal to 7500 so i is equal to 7500 by 625 so same for uh, we carry 25 and here 300 and here 1 and here 12 so it is our 12 percent so this process is a little easier one so from both the method we get that our number one interest is equal to 7500 and number two our rate of interest is equal to 12% per annum. So these are our final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions like this.